So you've heard of this MMORPG called Lord of the Rings Online. You've heard good things, but there's also some concerns that you have. Well, today in this video, we're going to attempt to talk you out of talking yourself out of playing Lord of the Rings Online. So untuck your shirt. Stop yelling. It's Lotro time. So I was cruising through the Reddit and saw this incredible post from a user named Shipwreck, Lord of the Rings, aka Shoreless, aka player named Penfellas on Treebeard, talking about this subject. So I messaged him and asked him if I could use it, and he was very happy to provide his thoughts. So shout out to you and all the great comments on the Lotro Reddit. The following are some commonly voiced barriers towards starting or returning to Lord of the Rings online. The game's about to die. Um, no, it's not. Lotro is in as strong a place as it's been with new investors, a dedicated producer, a talented and motivated dev team, and 15 years worth of stories to tell. That 15 years worth of stories to tell came directly from an interview with producer Renania himself. Note that whether you're a fan of the upcoming Rings of Power series or not, it will help rekindle the love of Lotro. This provides all the more reason for SSG to continue to invest in this game. But the servers are dead. No, they're not. The servers are actually booming right now with the free content and the usual haunts of Landerville and Treebeard active at all times of the day. But even if a server is underpopulated, SSG has been catering to the solo crowd for many years now, and you could do almost all of the content on your own. In addition, Lotro players are extremely invested and friendly and they're helpful. Lord of the Rings Online is old. Uh, so? It'll never have the Elden Ring level graphics, but it's gorgeous. Yes, it's a quirky game engine. Yes, it's an old timey MMO. There's tab targeting, but it's also the best Lord of the Rings game out there. And it's a charming experience, even if you don't care about the lore. The monetization is outdated. No, no, it's not. With update 33, everything up to and including Helm's Deep expansion is free. And most of the arbitrary handicaps have been taken off free accounts. So you only spend money on current content, cosmetics, and convenience now. But guys, I don't know what class to play. Uh, this, that's actually fair. Our tastes change and it's hard to know how a class will be over the span of levels. But bottom line is this, imagine what you want to be able to do in a battle, because like it or not, this is a combat heavy game. If it's chopping stuff, be a champion. If it's sneaking and stabbing and or telling riddles, be a burglar. If it's throwing fireballs, be a lore master or rune keeper. If it's turning into a giant bear, be a Bjorning. If it's soaking up tons of damage, be a guardian. If it's taking on millions of enemies at once, be a warden. Do what you love and you'll never work a day of your life. That's what they say. Do what you think people want you to do and you'll become bitter and old before your years. Speaking of which, I want a class that's viable for endgame. Nobody cares. Some raiding kins may, but Shoreless says that he's been playing casual for 15 years and he's never been rejected by a group for his character class. Me personally, I'll ditto that. Endgame is very fun, but it's not everything. If you choose a class that's not right for you, that you can't get into imaginatively, and if you rush to the end game, skip the journey, you're going to hate the game and whine about it. If you have to just try the end game content, Make a character and level boost it, then another character for slow leveling. Bingo Boffin says, My biggest piece of advice to any new player is just to play. Try the game out and take things slowly. See if the gameplay is right for you because there's a lot of it before you even get close to endgame. Enjoy the Valor Packs. Be ready to pester world chat for questions if you go completely blindly. People... They like to help others in the game, so don't worry. Or if you just make a new character and play from scratch, you'll have the character slots to do it. Klepto666, interesting username. Klepto says, people need to realize that every class is viable at endgame. 
I don't think I've ever seen a class where someone says, this is bad. No one wants X class in their group. However, there are some specs that are preferred over others. I don't think anyone's going to bat an eye if you go into a fellowship instance as DPS Guardian, and you'll probably be fine with regular fellowship instances as a DPS Guardian. But if you're doing level cap raid instance, the group will probably want your Guardian to be a tank instead of DPS, or they might pass you up for another DPS-focused class, but that's highly irregular. Another barrier that was brought up from Enro 1337 says, what is SSG doing to address the aging servers and stuttering presence in many areas of the game? What kind of backend upgrades are they doing to the world to make it actually function without abilities hanging for seconds at a time? So ultimately, he's concerned about the lag. My thoughts? Yeah, that this isn't a concern. It's one that I've actually voiced in my last video. I'm going to post the link up above and you can take a look at that. Long story short is they are attempting to fix the lag. At least that's what they say. Shoreless goes on to say, look, the bottom line is that there's approximately 37.2 billion games you could be playing. So why play Lotro? We've all been burned by MMOs before because they never seem to live up to their promise. It feels like a big risk. It's a hefty download for an old time game. I get it. But if you're looking for a chill, low magic, fantasy RPG with great stories and a charming world, then Lord of the Rings Online is it. If you love Tolkien and don't mind some ancient game mechanics, there's no better option in town. Try it. You'll like it. Well said, Shoreless and the rest of the incredible Reddit community. I want to hear from you. Did the community miss any? What is your experience playing Lotro? Would you recommend playing the game? Jump into the comment section and let us know, or head on over to the Reddit discussion and sound off. I'll link it in the description. There you have it. If you like the video, like the video. It would make me feel swell if you hit the subscribe button. We have a large back catalog of videos along with upcoming weekly videos. I am Joshua with Weird Gaming Adventure, and we at Weird Gaming Adventure love you in a weird way. See you next week, my kin.